Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of the slope-intercept form, specifically how we could use that and create or even recognize tables in which the slope-intercept form is used, and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. So first, let's make sure we remember the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So that is just a common form of linear equations. So your y and your x, both of these are going to be variables. And so we don't need to uh, worry too much about those because those are always going to be given to us as values or we are going to be trying to find them. And y is always by itself on one side of the equal sign to make the slope intercept form. Now, m is going to be our slope. So that's why it's called the slope-intercept form, because the first part is the slope. It's a coefficient that is going to be multiplied by the x, and it is simply a ratio. If we're looking at a graph, it's the change in y over the change in x. And it lets us know whether our line, because in this form, this equation is going to be a straight line, whether it's moving up, whether it's moving down, and how steep that slope is. And then finally, we've got this b right here. This is our y-intercept. So if we are looking at a graph, where does that line cross the y-axis? Because if we make x 0, then anything that's going to be our m slope is going to obviously turn 0, because anything times 0 becomes 0. So all we're left is with the y-intercept. So that is our slope-intercept form. How does this work in tables? Well, much like any other tables you've ever created, let's just come up with a sample. So y equals negative 3x plus 4. So in this, we see that we have a slope of negative 3. That means it is moving down. And it is moving down 3 uh, y-coordinates for every 1 x-coordinate. And it's going to start with a y-intercept of 4. But typically, when we see a table, we will just see x, y. And all we're doing is we're just plugging in x's and y's, right? So we could, uh, if we wanted to, we could put an x of 0. And we're just going to kind of plug these in. Negative 3 times 0 plus 4. So that's going to be 0 plus 4. So that's just going to be 4. And so that's why our y-intercept is 4, because we put x as a 0. Now, if we put x as 1, and we're just going to plug this in. And this is one way we can kind of make tables is We've got, let's see, negative 3 plus 4, so that's just going to be positive 1. And let's just do a few more. 2, so negative 3, 2 plus 4, so that's going to be negative 6 plus 4. So that's going to end up being negative 2. So you notice my y is going down 3 each time. It was positive 4, positive 1, now negative 2. And then obviously we can just make a big jump if we really need to. So let's go negative 3, 10, plus 4. So that's negative 30, plus 4. So that's going to be negative 26. So this is just a basic table that we could use to uh, plot out some points for the slope-intercept form. And if we wanted to, now we've got x, y coordinates, we could plot this on a graph. So we have information here about a horse and how far a horse can run in x hours. And so we're supposed to write a, an equation to model this relationship. So let's take a look at our y equals mx plus b. Right, and so they're going to actually give us our x and y. So let's just start with this, this first pair right here. Right, so we're thinking, what is the relationship between 2 and 110? Well, it's getting bigger. And so probably instead of adding, I'm going to multiply something to get up to 110. So let's just divide 110 by 2. Let's see what I get. That's going to be 5. Looks like another 5 is going to get me there. So that's going to be all right, 55. Let's just see if that works. Uh, 55 times 4. Yeah, that's going to work. All right, so times 55. So guess what that 55 is going to be? That's actually going to be my slope. I'm going to multiply my x by 55, and that is going to get me my y. And I have a plus 0. I don't need my intercept form because I'm not adding anything to it. When a horse starts at 0, it's got 0 distance.